The Tree O Tree. Hey guys, it's Desmond Tree O Tree. I'm going to be showing you uh, my GameCube collection right now. So I've got a huge box here in front of me, and they're full of GameCube games. So we're just going to go through them real quick. If you would like to see that. Um, also, I just wanted to mention that uh, I'm not going to be showing Daisy and Yoshi much in this video because Daisy is actually in heat at the moment. So uh, Yoshi is just being a huge pervert. <laughs> so more uh, camera action for me. So the first game we got here is Eternal Darkness. There's an absolute... I forgot how many GameCube games I had. There's Metroid Prime Echoes. Metroid Prime 2, I should say. Super Monkey Ball. Brilliant game. F-Zero GX. I've got Mario Kart Double Dash, of course. Uh, Mario Party 7. I haven't played that in a long time, actually. 007, Agent Under Fire. Mario Smash Football. And of course, The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker. Brilliant game. Haven't played that in years. Uh, Metroid Prime. Very good first person shooter game for the GameCube. Battalion Wars, one of my favourite games on the GameCube. Loved it, loved every second of it. I never gave too much time to. Battalion Wars Wii, unfortunately, but maybe I'll do that for YouTube, play a couple of games of it. Uh, the next one then is Donkey Konga 2. Wario World. Resident Evil 4, which I own on the Wii as well. Very good game, very good. Fire Emblem, Radiance of Dawn. Or Path of Radiance, what are we on about? Radiance of Dawn. <laughs> we got Mario Party 5. The Player's Choice Edition. There's nothing different, it's just cheaper in price or something like that. Medal of Honor European Assault. We got Mario Party 4. These are all just scattered, they're not in order or anything like that. Like, so. There's Beautiful Joe. We got Burnout. Love that racing game, actually, Burnout. Uh, GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Soul Calibur 2. We got Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2, and I was huge into that game. More so on the Sega Dreamcast, to be honest. Chibi Robo, what a charming game that is. <laughs> uh, Burnout 2, Point of Impact. Very good racing game. Love the Burnout series. I think after EA took it over, it kind of went downhill for me. And Mario Baseball, Mario Superstar Baseball, I should say. One of my favourite games on the GameCube then is Time Splitter's Future Perfect. Love that game. And of course, Super Smash Bros. Melee. We got Beautiful Joe, Red Hot Rumble. Prince of Persia, The Warrior Within. We got International Superstar Soccer 2. Uh, what else have we got? Super Monkey Ball 2. Got 9 out of 10 from the Nintendo official magazine in Europe. Uh, Pikmin. I have that on the GameCube as well. Or the GameCube. I have that on the Wii as well. I got this off the Nintendo website. The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Oh, excuse me. My phone is ringing. And yes, that's Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> One second. I should have really turned off my phone, but whoops. Um, okay, let's look at this. Look, she's doing to that teddy. And then look at Yoshi, guilty head in him. Look. What are you up to, Yoshi? <laughs> Big pervert head in him. <laughs> Alright, let's get back into the game. So there's the box, still ready to go. So uh, That was the promotional disc I just showed you there. Um, we got Super Mario Sunshine. It wasn't my favourite Mario game, but I really enjoyed it nonetheless. Uh, Star Fox Assault. 007 Nightfire. I actually really liked uh, the multiplayer and that, the four player multiplayer. And some of the maps were really cool as well. Mario Party 6. We've got Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. WarioWare Inc. 
Mega Party Games. That's pretty funny, actually, that game. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Deadly Alliance. And I got that late into the GameCube's life cycle there. It's Gun by Activision. Pretty cool Western game. I never really spent too many hours playing it, but... Uh, Rebel Strike, Rogue Squadron 3. 3. <laughs> Uh, Mario Power Tennis, I have that on the Wii as well. The new play control, I think it's called. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, the first one on the GameCube. And we got here Bomberman Generation. And we got FIFA World Cup 2006 Germany. Sprechen Sie Deutsch, yeah, yeah. Mario Golf, Toadstool Tour. I used to love the Mario Golf games. There's another one, Time Spitters 2, one, one, of, one of my other favourite games on the GameCube. Resident Evil, Code Veronica. Donkey Konga, so I have the two Donkey Konga games. Tony Hawk's Underground, or Tug. Need for Speed Underground. Player's Choice. We got 13 there. That game by Ubisoft is a pretty cool game actually. I think uh, the latest Red Steel, Red Steel 2 kind of took a lot of charm out of that game. Odama, it was one of the weirdest games I've ever bought. <laughs> they used the microphones, well, I don't know if you can see that there, the GameCube pad with the microphone on the back of it. Strange game, but uh, one for a collection, I think. Jesus, this game stuck together and everything. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Worms 3D. Uh, Star Fox Adventures. It's the first one that showed off Crystal, I believe. The female fox character. Uh, Kirby's Air Ride. We got Resident Evil Zero. Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. We got Pokemon. Pokemon Coliseum. Pokemon. Spider-Man 2, off the movie. <laughs> we got The Legend of Zelda, The Four Swords. Love that game. It's really, uh, it's a shame that it didn't really take off so well on the GameCube, but a really cool idea. It should definitely be used on the Wii U, I think. Uh, there's the game Geist. It came out late into the Wii's life cycle. 60 hertz only. <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the Four Swords Adventures. I don't think it really took off very well because you needed the extra Game Boy Advance controllers or something like that. But anyway, International Winter Sports. Dash in the Giant. I never even played that game. <laughs> 007, Everything or Nothing. We got Tiger Woods 2004. Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles. We got SSX3. It's you against the mountain. <laughs> Spider-Man, the first one. I don't know what that's doing there. The Game Boy Player, I suppose it's counted as a game. It's in the same kind of case, I suppose. Oh, more games stuck together. <laughs> Pikmin 2 Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2 Dakar 2 I actually like that race game, it's really cool on the GameCube I really enjoyed it when I used to play it anyway Pool Paradise I don't know why I bought that It's alright but Ultimate Spider-Man I don't think I even played that one either Player's Choice, Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. We got then Resident Evil 2. Probably one of the better uh, Resident Evils out of the whole series. Monopoly Party, Play All at Once. I thought you'd do that anyway. What's that supposed to mean? Street Racing Syndicate. Yeah, so I, apparently you... <laughs> when you... Uh, 
do good in the game, whatever. You can unlock videos of the girls dancing or something like that. I don't know. Weird. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. SSX on tour. Man, that's a lot of games. Resident Evil, the first one, uh, remastered for the GameCube. It's a pretty epic game. Might go back and play that again at some stage. Maybe I'll record it. I don't know. Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. I used to really enjoy Rogue Squadron on the N64, so I have the both of them on the GameCube. Skies of Arcadia Legends. So it's a really huge RPG game. It was really cool on the Dreamcast. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Las Tortugas Ninjas. <laughs> right, what else have we got? Coming to the end here. Paper Mario, the 10,000 year door. Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. We've got Killer 7. Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. We got that uh, insane game, Ikaruga. I think I mentioned that in my uh, Fast Racing League series, or the one video I did for the WiiWare game. SSX Tricky. 1080 Avalanche. More snowboarding games. WrestleMania 18. The Showcase of Immortals. The Sims. We've got Call of Duty, Finest Hour. Well, look at the back. I don't know if you can see that now because of the quality, but. Be cool if, that could, if you had online in those games, you know? Spartan Total Warrior. The GameCube didn't really have online, to be honest. Smugglers Run War Zones. Worst game I've ever bought here. Reckless, the Yakuza missions. I think I got it for $7.99 and it was near enough to launch. I should have known better, but I don't know. I just saw the missiles and everything. I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. <laughs> Awful game. Dancing Stage Mario Mix. Look at that. Look at that move. <laughs> oh man. Dancing Stage. Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Sonic Mega Collection. Player's Choice again. And this one here is Call of Duty 2, the big red one. I don't know what's the story with that name. ATV Quad Power Racing 2. Animal Crossing for the GameCube. And. I got that off the Nintendo website as well. Pokemon Box, Ruby and Sapphire. It's a Pokemon organizer. You can put all your Pokemon onto this game and store them. Yeah, so I think with Animal Crossing, I'll just check it here with one hand. It's kind of hard to open these cases, but uh, I did guess. I got this off the Nintendo website, and this came with the game. It was kind of. I'm, I'm not sure if this is a special Nintendo website memory card, but it's got an Animal Crossing sticker. You can see. The dog there, I've just forgotten his name. <laughs> Maybe someone can answer in the comments what his name is. I just forget momentarily. I'm sure when I turn off the camera, I'll remember straight away. But, um, guys, that's that's all my GameCube games that I have. Uh, there's quite a few there. I didn't count them as I went along, but I can easily watch the video again and count them up. But, uh, what I have planned for my channel is for the month of October, because Halloween is happening around October time, me and my girlfriend Lil Landy, we're going to be playing uh, Eternal Darkness and we're going to be doing live commentary. So it's going to be a let's play and Lil Landy is going to be narrating all the writing on screen as well. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy that. That's going to be cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to starting that up and that will be before Modern Warfare 3 comes out. So I will have other content on the way for, for that time frame as well. So. Uh, if you would like to leave a comment on this video and let me know, uh, maybe you want to let me know how the collection was, what did you think of my collection that I've had for years. But also, if you would like to see some gameplay on this, I could easily put the GameCube discs into my Wii and play some GameCube games. 
I do commentary over them and stuff like that. Like, so if you're interested to see any one of these games, please let me know in the comment section. I just want to say thanks for watching the video and I'll see you soon in another video. If you would like to help out the Dazran 303 channel on YouTube, all you have to do is any of the following. You can add my channel to your sub box on your YouTube account. You could remember to click the like button on a video when you watch it. You could share a video you enjoyed on your Facebook wall or your Twitter account. And you could also tell your friends, family or even Nintendo fans about my channel on YouTube. See you soon and I love you.